Hi, I'm Drew Shemensky, Regional Sales Manager for Wenzel America. Today we're going to take a look at OpenDemus, which is the software that powers our metrology solutions. OpenDemus is a flexible, easy to use tool that can provide a great value for you and your company, regardless of the type of parts you make. One of the most important things we want viewers to take away today from this video is the flexibility of OpenDemons. We have over 6,000 installs. Really the, the variety of parts that we can measure and the probe heads we support, whether it's five axis scanning, traditional three axis scanning, or non-contact high-speed optical uh, is really the strength of the software. The three main benefits of using OpenDemus are, number one, its ability to work with a variety of probe systems. Another feature in OpenDemus is its graphical user interface, which features a very simple and intuitive drag and drop type layout. So operators who may be very entry level and have never used a CMM software before can find it very simple to use, while even more advanced programmers can find all the tools that they need to do the job. Another benefit we see in OpenDemus is that there are some very powerful and dynamic reporting tools in the software, making it very easy for a programmer to create very vibrant and rich reports for PPAPs or first article uh, submissions to your customers. OpenDemus is a great value because when we talk about all that flexibility and measuring all those different types of parts, supporting all those different probe heads, all those tools are included in the base package of the software. So no matter what kind of part you're making, we have a tool for you that's included in our package. That gives you a very low cost of ownership over time because you're not paying maintenance fees on a lot of expensive options. I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, Jonah DeLongchamp, who's an application engineer with Wenzel America and is going to give you a more in-depth look at OpenDemus and its tools. Welcome to OpenDemus version 6.0. Just a brief introduction to OpenDemus. Um, on my left hand side is all my viewers. Okay, so one click away I can be selecting my different viewers here. Anything from a graphical viewer, which gives me my machine model, any kind of CAD data, anything I've defined and measured can be displayed. My Demus editor, okay, where I need to edit the code possibly. My output report, a graphical report, and lastly is my form error report. On the right hand side of OpenDemus, here I have my database windows, which are my storage windows. Okay. So I have two of them and the reason why I have two of them is so that they can handshake with each other by dragging and dropping. The last piece of OpenDemus is down here at the bottom left hand corner here. I have six different operations, so where I go to create information. So let's begin by bringing in my CAD file. So out of the box, OpenDemus has the ability to import in three-dimensional IDIS files or STEP files and a two-dimensional DXF file. So once this loads here, I can then create some measurements on the physical part to create this coordinate system. So there are four point plane. I can also accept that measurement right from my joystick here. I'm also gonna select here a two point line. And lastly is a single point on the left hand side of this to complete my measurements to create my coordinate system. Here I have all the tools to create different types of coordinate system. In this case, I'm gonna select create, which allows me to level to the plane, rotate to the line, create my origin to the point and to tie those two together, the CAD file and my actual physical part location, I can right click on the model in my database and say set model alignment. So now I have the model located to where the physical part is on the machine. So from here I can then select some different things to be measured here. Let's start off with a two dimensional circle. And here I can either create a scan path on that circle or I can create measurement points on the circle. Let me lift my probe clear so it has a clear approach to measure this circle. And here I can then scan that circle. Once the circle scan is complete, I can then look at the information about the calculated circle, nominal from CAD model, actual from the physical part, I can also take a look at it here in an output report, and a simple drag and drop will allow me to create that information. 
as well as looking at it as, in a graphical report. And if I like this, I can also add this to my output report so that it becomes part of one report. And lastly is my form error report. And there I can take a look at all the points and their deviations from nominal. And again, if I like this, I can add it to my output report. So if we choose to select here a three-dimensional feature, let's say a cylinder, I can then create that cylinder by selecting on the model and by scanning that cylinder. Now as far as the ability to build and create probes in here, I am using a PH10M with an SP25. So to build those probes, it's very easy. Sensors, and by building here, I just go through the motions of selecting exactly what I have to this physical machine. PH10M is my probe head, the SP25 is my measuring device, and what type of system I have on there for my module, my holder, and what type of stylus I have selected. So from here, I can give it a name and add that to my database. Now, if there is an angle that I'm after, I can simply select here off the CAD file, either 2D or three-dimensional shapes, and I can use this tool in here called New Sensor, and by dragging and dropping that shape into this empty box down here, it calculates out what the most optimal angle is for me. And if I say here, Add and Activate, that creates that sensor. And from here, it's very easy to calibrate. If I go here to my sensor database, I can then select this to then be calibrated against the, my reference sphere. So after I've done calibrated that sensor, I can then use that sensor to then measure. So here if we select it again off the CAD file, I can then program in a scan path against it. So if I take these two circles that I have measured here, and I want to output those, this, the dragging and dropping between the two databases is very useful. And the fact that I can select here a diameter to be used. And there it is displayed in my output report, simple by dragging and dropping. So that completes the Open Demos demonstration. Hopefully you found it very easy to use, and the fact that you can drag and drop and you're one click away from being where you want to be in the software. So that's Open Demos. Flexible, easy to use, and a great value. For more information, please visit us online at wenzelamerica.com.